One of the inhibition patterns in PDTR is associated with the neospinothalamic stimulus. These stimulus create a withdrawal reflex. The patient tries to withdraw from the source of the stimulus. This is not pain. This is just a reflex. Pain is an interpretation in the brain when we have the, when the requirements to be pain are there. If the brain knows that all the requirements are there for pain, then interpret it like a pain. This reflex is not pain, it's just a withdrawal from the source of the steam. We have different degrees or grades of, of response. If I push here, it's strong. If I make a small stimulus in the hand, now inhibits, and the flexor becomes stronger, and the extensor, in this case, becomes weaker. If I make the steam in the hand in the opposite side, it's the same, but now the extensor are going to be strong and flexors are going to be weak. Yes? But what happened with the rest of the body? With this steam, nothing. I, I, I can increase the steam in different ways. One, with more, more time with the stimulus, or a stronger stimulus, or many similar stimulus in the same place. With more stimulus, now the body will respond in different ways. This arm is going to try to withdraw from the steam, and this arm is going to try to push away. Why is this response? Because if I have a steam, enough steam in my foot, I will withdraw the left, the right foot, and I'm going to push with the left to move me, to push me away of the steam. The same with the arms. This is a strong, this is strong, and this is a strong. If I make a stimulus here, this is a strong, but this is weak. If I make more stimulus, now this is weak again, but this is going to be weak. But what happens if I increase the stimulus? With much more stimulus, now both are going to try to withdraw. Then more stimulus, more time, or stronger. And now this is going to be weak, and this is going to be weak. It's the same in the body. All the body is going to respond. If I continue increasing the steam, now the steam is going to be global. Global response, everything is going to be weak. Instead of withdraw, she's going to be globally weak. This is the, the hardest steam, the hardest response to this steam. This is neo-spinothalamic. We can see in many patients a withdrawal sign. In, could be in the hand, the head, could be in the abdomen, could be in the foot. But now we can see the same withdrawal sign in the leg. During the gait, she has problems with the adductor on the right side. And she walks with the leg in abduction because the adductor is not working properly. In this case, if I test the right side, a right adductor is weak in the clear. But if I test the left, it's strong. What happens if I test the adductor without stress on the knee? In this case, oh, this is still weak. How can I know that this is a withdrawal sign? Because if I compress the area of the knee, in this case, now the doctor becomes strong. This stimulus here causes a withdrawal sign 
and the brain try to withdraw the leg from the area of the stimulus. In this case, create a weakness of the deductors and facilitates the gluteus medius. This is a without sign in a real case. Now, make the stimulus in the knee and the arm become weak. Or the other leg become weak. Everything becomes weak just because she is compressing the tendon and I doing the proper steam. Create a global weakness. Then this is the proper steam for the dysfunctional receptor. We have a neospinothalamic. But what happens if I make a stimulus here in the area and create a deep tendon reflex? Now the dysfunction is still there but at a minimal stage. It's going to be basic, so basic dysfunction. Now, if I test the, the leg, hold some, hold some, it's strong. But it's not done yet, because I need to treat this receptor and the compensatory receptor at the same time. If I compress it, I make a stimulus here, inhibits, a stimulus plus slab becomes strong. It means that this is now at the compensatory dysfunction is a paleospinoreticularis. Where is this paleospinoreticularis? Please sit. Touch here. She's going to touch only the receptor. And I'm going to use this indicator muscle. Compress here. You press here and compress different areas. As soon as I compress the area where is the dysfunctional receptor, now this secondary compensatory decreases the dysfunction, but the primary is worse. This is the secondary. For treatment, I need only to make the stimulus and slap. and deep tendon reflex. Now, lay down, compress. I'm going to make a stimulus here in the same receptor, and now it's strong, cannot inhibit the indicator muscle. And if I test again the muscle, it's strong, it's done, it's fixed. It. No physical damage, it's just bad information from a dysfunctional receptor. Thank you.